the ford smolders and the coal burns bright the iron melts as it passes through smell and sight what's left in the end is a visage not of magic or of light but of steel that hearkens to the brave and answers to the mind hello and welcome back to lesson three of our nephilim training today we'll cover enchanting and crafting from here on forth, this video will aim to help new players understand how these features work in Diablo 3. For veterans of this art, you will find tips and strategies that will help you to make the most out of this elusive technique. So let's begin, shall we? To start things off, we will cover the basic ingredients needed to enchant or craft your items. Sanctuary is full of monsters and some of these monsters carry loot. Some of it's valuable beyond belief, others, well this is where it all really begins. In Diablo, there are four tiers of item with a few of these having a subsection of their own. But to simplify it all, following are the items you will find in game. Common, magical, rare and legendary with each item becoming increasingly valuable and rare. These items if salvaged using a blacksmith yield a crafting resource that is exclusive to its own class. These crafting materials are needed to enchant or craft new items so from now on, the focus is on these materials. Any item salvaged before level 60 will yield a crafting material that can only be used to enchant or craft items up to 60. And any item above this level will be used to craft any items up to level 70. Nice and simple, right? Enchanting an item in Sanctuary means taking the item to Miriam the Mystic and re-rolling a stat on it to obtain the desired effix. Bear in mind that only one effix on an item can be re-rolled and you can choose the effix from primary or secondary attributes. Once a decision is made, Miriam can re-roll these properties if you pay her a certain fee and provide her with the crafting materials. And now starts the time for luck. If you get what you wish for in first go, that's great. If not, you can still keep re-rolling the same effix but the cost of re-rolling will keep on increasing. So make up your mind accordingly. Crafting can be done at blacksmith and is usually done for legendaries or set legendary items that offer you extra valor needed in the battle. Same rules apply here, you'll need gold, crafting materials, gems that can be crafted from cover to shen and a white item respective to the class of item you wish to create. One extra material needed for crafting legendaries is so called legendary crafting material that requires a bit of struggle to find. These materials drop only in certain encounters in game. In the description below you'll find a list of all these materials and the location at which you can farm them. Happy hunting! Now is the time to address all of you veterans at this game. If you've been playing this game for a while, you already know all about this. So here are a few words to the wise. Certain level 60 items in game that can be dropped after loot 2.0 are extremely valuable. This includes class specific set items as their bonus can still be applied at level 70. Rings and amulet with crit damage and one other offensive stat. And finally, items that are just too good to pass. Now if you hold on to the old crafting materials, you can re-roll their properties and make them great by spending no forgotten souls as all you need here is demonic essences. So feel free to re-roll level 60 item as they not only help your main character but also side characters that you wish to play with later on. The next piece of advice is regarding re-rolling. Take extra care when trying to re-roll a legendary. Click on the question mark and look for the possible roles it can have. Class specific items such as Diablos for monks, bells for barbs, offhands for witch doctors and wizards are not always the best item to re-roll if you have limited resources as the number of possible roles you can have can easily exceed 20 and those can be hard odds to beat. On the other hand, re-rolling items such as braces are usually wise and can be done with less risk as they can only roll 8 possible stats or so. A final note then is about crafting set items. Some set bonuses like canes, bones and ore guilds are great and should not be overlooked. If you have completed one full class bonus set, make sure to add these items to your gear to give you that extra advantage. So that's it then, all you ought to know about enchanting and crafting. This has been the Holy Hermit for you and I wish you the very best of luck at this. Take care and remember to roll the die twice, for gambling is an art, not an exact science.